cannabis in spiritual practice, The Ecstasy of Shiva, The Calm of Buddha by Will Johnson. Now, if you're looking with the title, it is, there is that focus more on the Buddha, Buddhism, Shiva, and that type of practice and not cannabis. It's almost like cannabis is the topic or the writing of cannabis is taking a back seat almost. Yeah, don't get me wrong, cannabis is spoken through in this book, but to me, the two parts, one, the first part talking about Buddha, the second, Shiva, even though cannabis is spoke, is written about in like almost at the beginning and at the end and sprinkled throughout, it's not the main focus like I like you would think it would be since it would, that's in the main title and Buddha and Shiva are in like the subtitle, but they have become the focus of that book. And it it even though I'm not a u cannabis user, I just picked this up, this book out just out of interest. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll give it a look. And he just took it more of the Buddhism focus onto it. That was at least my takeaway from it. There's, at the end, there's, um, he says, like, you can go to this website for audio tracks, there's recommended reading, so, there's different types of, like, breathing, like, techniques and practices, and, so, it talks about the five precepts and then talks about them in each, like the Buddha section and the Shiva section and how they relate. And with those, there's a little bit of talking about cannabis use. Part one is short and more of an introduction and that's where the Buddha conversation is centered. The section, second part is uh, Shiva focused there's like more yoga and meditation techniques as well. So, so yeah, to me, it's more of <coughs> the spiritual learning through Buddha, Buddhism, with a little bit of cannabis conversation in. So, like, in a way, it c could be helpful, but to me, can cannabis isn't the main focus of the book. So, that might be a disappointment to some when they see the title of it. But it does have good points, it does have good information, but some people might be disappointed when they pick it up and read it. So, Cannabis in Spiritual Practice by Will Johnson. Happy readings.